annual principal and interest payments if the county backs this bond issue of the authority. Uh, you can see the total payments over 30 years would be $297 million. Uh, without the backing of the county, the authority would pay $313 million. So there's, there's a pure savings, a gross savings of $16 million. And if you present value that back to today's dollars, it's a present value savings of $7.7 .7 million. So that is, that's why we're here today. We, we see this opportunity where we've got a, a hospital authority, um, a very strong credit backing, and certainly the ability to, to sell these bonds and get, get reasonable interest rates. But if the county also steps up and says, we'll, we'll put our backstop behind the authority, then there's an additional $7.7 .7 million in the present value savings. How does that leave the authority in terms of this ability to repay the debt? Two, two key ratios. One is our debt service coverage ratio. This is the ratio that shows what, what kind of cash we'll have available to make the annual principal interest payment. So our, our current budget was just adopted, and uh, we should generate $22 million in <coughs> next year. Uh, our interest cost is seven, a little over $7 million, and our depreciation is almost $23 million. So we should have $52 million available for debt service, if you will, and as we look out bond issue in our debt structure, uh, our pro forma maximum annual debt service, the MADS number, uh, that's, that's the highest over the next 30 years, that's the highest our principal interest payment will be over the 30-year period. It's 14.6 million, 14.7. So we should have coverage of 3.55 over the, the highest payment that we'll have. So again, we think that's very strong coverage and certainly something that the hospital authority can handle. The other way to look at this is, you know, what is, how much leverage do we have? How much debt do we have compared to our total capital structure? And that's what this calculation actually does. And it shows that with this new 150 million, uh, 150 million in outstanding bonds, we'll have a total of 228 million dollars in outstanding bonds. We have net, net assets, which is really our equity. Net assets is kind of the not-for-profit term, but that's our equity. Debts. Our, our total capitalization is just over 500 billion, and that would put us at a debt to capital ratio of a little over 45 percent. And uh, you know, this is really this is the highest it'll be. You know, we don't have any additional debt plans in the next few years. Uh, so as we pay down debt over the next five years, you know, it'll, it'll come down from 45 down. Uh, today, it's uh, without this issue, it's about 26, 27 percent which is a very low leverage ratio. So we would certainly feel like we have the ability to, to take on this debt and to service the debt payments. And, and certainly would anticipate the county would ever have to fund anything on these payments. But what it does give us is a much lower interest rate in the market and, and certainly significant savings over the next 30 years. I'll stop there and see what questions you have for either me or Randy.